Okay, so you can see a few things that we uh, are returned with here. The first thing we see is a confirmation. We've got a little tick here saying one row inserted, which we have inserted one row, um, and row ID one. Okay, so that's our, um, increment, our auto increment value. So here we have a query that's been constructed for us and shown back to us. And remember earlier I've talked about queries and how they can insert data. Here we've got insert into a database, so we're inserting into this database dot users. So it, we're accessing this database and this table, ID, username and password, and then with the values null for ID, we're not specifying anything because it's automatically going to increment for us, Alex and password. So null corresponds to ID, Alex corresponds to username and password corresponds to password which is the password I gave. This could be obviously anything. So now what we can do is we can click on this Browse tab and we can go back and have a look at our data. So this is a representation of our data inside the database. So let's uh, insert another row. Let's call this this time Billy and pass one, two, three. I'm going to click Go. So now we've inserted another row with ID two now. Remember that's auto-incrementing and we're performing more or less the same query but just with different values. Let's go back to browse. Okay, you can see the data here. Now browse won't be available if there isn't any data inside your inside your table. However, structure is what we were looking at before. Remember, we can always go back to this and change things around if we want to. For example, now if we change password to a numeric data, our passwords here would now be invalid, so they'd be uh, they'd be gotten rid of. Okay, so we've got an ID of 1 and 2, you can see these auto-incremented, and we've got username and password. Now, we're gonna, now what we're going to be doing is adding another row onto this. Now, we've already specified data. You can imagine this may be, say, hundreds and hundreds of uh, rows of data. However, now what we want to do is we want to add on, um, let's say, a first name and a surname. So how do we go about doing this? Well, we come over to the Structure tab. And this can be done even though we've already got data in, stored inside our database. What we can do here is we've got add a certain amount of fields at the end of the table, at the beginning of the table, or after a specified field in our table. So what I want to do is I want to say at the end of the table, I want to add two fields. And I'm going to click go. Now we've got two fields up that we can specify everything in here. So I'm going to say first name and I'm going to say surname. And these types are obviously going to be varchar. And considering some people's surnames might be really long, uh, I'm going to go for, uh, let's say, 40 characters. Say 40 and 40 just to be safe. So now I can come down. I don't need to specify any other data inside here. And I'm going to click on Save. Okay, so you can see our query here has been uh, uh, read back to us. We've got alter table users add first name varchar not null so it has to contain some data add surname varchar 40 not null so this is our query to alter our table and add two field names at the end of the table so now you can see that we've if we click on oh, sorry about that we click on browse if we click on structure we can see that we've got our two um, added on here all the relevant data if we click on browse you can see that we've now added two um, field names on but obviously there's no data specified but what we can do now is we can click on edit and we can change this so we can then go ahead and change Billy as well and click go so we can see that um, we've been given back again another query so every time we perform a query in uh, PHP my admin it usefully gives us the query back so if you're struggling to understand the concept of queries and how to structure them and what they do and how they work later on then uh, a really good thing to do is just play around inside here insert things delete things change things and uh, just take note of the query so in this case what we've done is we've updated a particular uh, row. Um, in this case, we've updated the Billy Garrett row, so we've updated uh, the one with the ID of two. So we, our query reads update um, users table inside a database. Um, 
and we're setting first name equals Billy and surname equals Garrett where users.id equals two. So with the ID of this equals two, set first name to Billy and surname to Garrett, okay? And limit one just means we're obviously uh, not doing this for anything else. It's just sort of something that you don't need to add on, but, you know, might be beneficial. So let's uh, return to um, our data. So you can see that it's all updated now. You can perform a variety of operations inside phpMyAdmin. It's an extremely powerful tool. So maybe before you start using uh, queries and things inside PHP, have a play around here and just understand how MySQL and its structure and its data types and how to do things work. Uh, and then go on to um, the PHP side of things. But for now, that's just a quick introduction to phpMyAdmin, um, how to use it in the ways that we're going to be talking about with the tutorials there's obviously a lot more functionality behind it um, but that's just a brief introduction and how to perform simple operations